Knocked one. Hey yo, what to do, big dog? <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Monkey here, the gaming channel all about gaming and improving. Today, I'm going to be going over how you can win more of your gunfights in rank. I've seen that you guys like my video on how to solo in diamond, and for that, I was inspired to make this video for you guys. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave the card tag above for you right now. I'm aware that some of you all are struggling in rank still, and believe me, as a casual player myself, I am too, but these tips I'm about to give you will help you get the KP you need to help you move up better in rank. And for that, you should smash that like button, subscribe with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss any of my Apex content. So Monkey, what's the best way to win gunfights? Just play Gibby. Alright, that's it for this video, have a great day. <laughs> I'm only slightly kidding. Due to Gibby's passive, he is a great legend in rank that has a good chance to, of winning majority of his 1v1s due to being able to take more damage by ADSing with his shield. Even Octane is a good legend to use to stem strafe and gunfights to make yourself a harder target to hit with movement speed. But other than using specific legends, there are three tips that can help you no matter who you're using. Tip number one, spend 10 to 20 minutes in the firing range to warm up your aim. Aim is super important in Apex Legends as most of you guys already know and finding your sensitivity is something that you need to do so that way you can lock on the targets a lot better. Best way to practice is to get in the firing range and also mess around with the advanced look control settings. I have found out that a lot of people really don't know about that and if you go into the settings and you scroll all the way down onto the controller side you'll be able to see advanced look controls at the very bottom. You click on that and go ahead and mess with that. If y'all need to, I'll make a video specifically about the advanced look control settings and uh, how it could really help you improve into your gameplay. And then once you figure out the, your sensitivity that fits you, you definitely need to be warming up and practicing in the firing range before just hopping in and getting right into a rank game. Tip number two. Use cover and be aware of your surroundings. It's really important that you're using cover when fighting. A lot of people like to try to go in with a big ego and 1v1 out in the open and see who has the better aim and who can get lucky on finishing the other one. But the best way to really do it is when you're fighting somebody and say you get the first shot off on them first and then you're going in on them but he's also going in on you and you pretty much lose your shields or close to losing it you need to instantly get right back into cover so always stay near something that can give you that cover to peek in and out by doing this method as soon as you go to take cover he'll continue to shoot which will cause him to stop shooting eventually to reload and when he takes that split second to stop to either reposition or reload that's when you peek back out there and finish him off also you need to be aware of your surroundings because you need to know where his teammates are because they could possibly come up on you which leads to my third tip team shoot this is extremely important to do in rank if you're able to get your teammate and focus on one guy at the same time he's only going to be able to shoot one of you he might be able to get one of you guys knocked or just weak but by both of you guys shooting him you'll be able to finish him off and then both of y'all look over and focus one of his teammates i find that a lot of my teammates even if we were to team shoot and knock one person they instantly want to heal which leads the enemy's teammate to focus on me or my third and end up going to a 1v1 situation. If you and your teammate knock one, don't instantly try to heal if their enemies are shooting one of you. Focus on him with you and your buddy so that way you can instantly get him out of the way 
and then take the time to heal. Now, if your teammates aren't being targeted right away and say the enemy's teammates are not that close or they're healing or just not focusing on y'all right away, it does give you some time to heal. So go ahead and do that. But don't instantly heal as soon as you knock someone and then uh, the other enemy's teammates are shooting your buddy because that puts them in a bad situation where they have to 1v1. Even if you're weak, if you can get a 2v1 on that other team, it's definitely worth shooting them and waiting on healing right away because it'll take them time to try to knock both of you. But that's it for these tips for now. I just wanted to share a few of them briefly with you guys and have you guys really watch this gameplay so that way you can see how I win some of my games and just pay attention to how we communicate and focus on getting good positioning. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoy. Dude, I feel like we needed our abilities right now or something. Oh, I cracked the Revenant. He's, they're setting a portal to get out. Exploding. Can we go to here? What there? Over here. I keep thinking someone's fucking house burning. I'm gonna block the bottom door. Let's go take a spot or something. Maybe this rock. Yeah, we could play. Well, if we play, yeah, we could play the back of that. As long as nobody's on the other side, though. Hey, this house is in, though. This house is in. A little bit of it is. Yeah, we can play this whole area right here. All right. Focus on those guys for me. I'm gonna make sure nobody pulls up on this spot. Oh, they're fighting right here. They're fighting. Oh my god! What the fuck? I cracked the octane. Oh my gosh, he's so one. He can stick the res. I did not hear a fucking thing. We might have to push on towards that area. Once you're ready to heal or ready to move. I got a small stuff. Yeah, we we play over here. Oh, by himself, he's by himself. Ah, oh, he fucking dipped. Four hostiles. Dude, there down the whole team, whole team. Whole team on me right here. Dumbass. Hey, they're pulling up, they're pulling up. I got a heal. Are y'all good? You good? I think so. Alright. Hell yeah, I got fucking bats and everything. You good. I might need to drop this. Oh shit. Forty seven on that dude. Who the fuck are we shooting at? Oh, this guy. There's a dude up top. I cracked him. Twenty six flesh. I got oh my Good shit. You can sit up here? It's kinda dirty, dog. I'm... That dude is... This game. You're getting D3 this fucking game. Here. How'd y'all get up there? Jump head, jump head on the ground. Oh, okay. Still four squads though. We got some. We got some major rats, I guess. Oh! Jumping on the end of the Bangalore. I cracked him. 
I got her. Can they shoot you with that angle? We've got 30 seconds I guess if you wanted to, it's two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Both have red. I'm watching them. Watching this spot. They got a fucking caustic. I might be able to fuck one up. <sighs> Yo, we're this, we're in zone right here in this yeah, spot. We're, yeah, we're, we're, we're close. We're good. We're, he's just gonna fucking throw his ult, and we're gonna be fucked. Yeah, we're gonna have to get him. Knock, knock. Where's the other one? I got him. 